Hi, my name is Levi. It is nice to meet you. Jambo, jina langu ni Levi. Ni bema kukutana na wewe. When you introduce yourself to someone this way, it shows that you have an interest to start a conversation. So, let's have a look at it again. Hi, my name is Levi. It is nice to meet you. Habari, jina langu ni Levi. Ni bema kukutana na wewe. Habari, jina langu ni Levi. Ni vyema kukutana na wewe. Habari, jina langu ni Levi. Ni vyema kukutana na wewe. Hi, I am Beatrice. Nice to meet you too. Jambo, ni naito Beatrice. Ni vyema kukutana na wewe pia. Jambo, ni naito Beatrice. Ni vyema kukutana na wewe pia. Jambo, ni naito Beatrice. Ni vyema kukutana na wewe pia. What's your name? Jina lako ni nani? Jina lako ni nani? Or, unaitwa nani? Unaitwa nani? So when you're interested to know the name of the person you've met with, this is how you can ask their names. What is your name? Unaitwa nani? Unaitwa nani? Unaitwa nani? Or you can also ask Jina lako ni nani? Jina lako ni nani? My name is Levi. Jina langu Ni Levi. Jina langu ni Levi. Jina langu ni Levi. Or you can also say, Ni naitwa Levi. Ni naitwa Levi. Where are you coming from? Umetoka wapi? Where are you coming from? Umetoka wapi? Maybe you're interested to know where. This person is coming from. The country is coming from. Maybe it's Kenya. Maybe it is Tanzania. Or maybe it's USA. Or maybe it's England. Where are you from? Umetoka wapi? Umetoka wapi? Umetoka wapi? I am from Kenya. Nimetoka Kenya. Nimetoka Kenya. Nimetoka Kenya. And maybe you want to know where the person lives. This is how you ask. Unaishi wapi? Where do you live? Where do you live? Unaishi wapi? Unaishi. Wapi? Unaishi wapi? I live in Nairobi. Ninaishi Nairobi. Ninaishi Nairobi. Ninaishi Nairobi. What do you do for a living? Unafanya nini kujikimu kimaisha? Sometimes when you meet someone, you might be interested to know. What does this person do for a living? So this is how you should ask. What do you do for a living? Unafanya nini kujikimu kimaisha? Unafanya nini kujikimu kimaisha? Unafanya nini kujikimu kimaisha? I am a second school teacher. Mimi ni mwalimu wa shule ya upili. Mimi Ni mwalimu wa shule ya upili. Mimi ni mwalimu wa shule ya upili. This is Mr. Levy. Huyu ni mwana Levy. Huyu ni mwana Levy. Sometimes you want to introduce a friend. Or you want to introduce your partner. Then this is how you should introduce your friends. This is Mr. Levy. Huyu ni Bwana Levi. Huyu ni Bwana Levi. 
huyu ni bwana Levi. He is my long time friend. Yeye ni rafiki yangu wa muda mrefu. Yeye ni rafiki yangu wa muda mrefu. Yeye ni rafiki yangu wa muda mrefu. This is Miss Kathini. Huyu ni Bi Kathini. Huyu ni Bi Kathini. Huyu ni Bi Kathini. She's a wife to Mr. Levy. She's a wife to Mr. Levy. Yeye ni mke wa Bwana Levy. Yeye ni mke wa Bwana Levy. Yeye ni mke wa Bwana Levy. This is Ben. Huyu ni Ben. Huyu ni Ben. Huyu ni Ben. Ben is the firstborn to Mrs. and Mr. Levy. Ben ni kifungua mimba kwa B na Bwana Levy. Ben ni kifungua mimba kwa B na Bwana Levy. Ben ni kifungua mimba kwa B na Bwana Levy. And sometimes you may be willing to offer a cup of tea to your friend. Then how should you ask it in Swahili? Can we have a cup of tea? Tunaweza kupata kikombe cha chai. Can we have a cup of tea? Tunaweza kupata kikombe cha chai. Tunaweza kupata kikombe cha chai. Tunaweza kupata kikombe cha chai. Sure. No problem. Ndio. Hamna shida. Ndio. Hamna shida. Ndio. Hamna shida. Remember to put a smile on your face while you are interacting with the other person so that you can create a conducive environment for you people to interact. Again, I know there are some interaction of phrases that you've learned maybe from this video or other sources. Why don't you let us know in the comment section below. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe because in that way you will help us to post as a lot of content as possible. So please subscribe. See you in the next video. And as usual, kwaheri, kwaheri means goodbye.